folks I'm glad you're here thank you very much for joining me today there was a strong earthquake yesterday afternoon there in um, the interior of Alaska Friday afternoon at 12:34 p.m. it was reported as a magnitude 5.3 earthquake north of the Denali fault zone it's probably a, a fault zone that runs up through here off the Denali fault USGS said the earthquake was about 4.5 miles um, under the ground and only about one mile north of the community of Salsha and was located along the Richardson Highway or um, it's also called Highway 2 I guess you can see it there on Google Earth 1,398 people reported to USGS that they did feel it. Many of them fled from their homes. It was given an intensity level of 8, meaning there might have been some light damage. If you had damage, let me know. Intensity level 8 means to those people that reported, said it would, felt like a 5.5 to maybe a, a magnitude 6. They didn't fudge about this earthquake. Um, it was, in fact, a magnitude 5.3, and I don't think they've reported all the aftershocks. This initial earthquake actually had multiple earthquakes within that earthquake. You can see we got one here. Um, what they did was they added them all in together. Let me show you the seismic signature of this earthquake. Oh, it went small. This was an initial spreading event where the fault line spread open. Yeah, you can see it's all fault movement here. Let me come down here to some of the other earthquakes. You can see we got another one right there. Um, a lot of them in red. Look at that. Let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, look at that. A lot of them. Let me close this out. Yeah, a lot of earthquakes. And I'll bring it down to when I pulled the files. Let's see. The most recent in red would probably be this one right here. At 3.59 Universal Time. Oh, excuse me. 13.59. Actually, uh, 1400 Universal Time. On this map here, you can see 184 earthquakes. Yeah, since that magnitude... 5.3 that's a lot of aftershocks most recent that they're reporting is a 1.9 they're not reporting this one that I just showed you uh, 1016 is the last one they're reporting a magnitude 1.9 19.8 miles oh we got more we got more that just popped up you guys are a rocking and a rolling so this one at 1400 comes in as a magnitude 3.28. Uh, let me come across. The other ones are not marked in red. Let's look at the seismic signature. Yeah, see more fault movement. Okay, and we got a little one. Well, what time was this one? Okay, 1400 universal. So that one would have been at um, 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's see, we got another, oh, that's a slow-moving tremor there. Okay, and yeah, another slow-moving tremor. Let's look at the spectrogram. Okay, um, this one would have been 1542 Universal. So that would have been at 742 a.m. there in Alaska. Boy, time just flies by. I can't believe it's already... 10:30 where I'm at. Uh, let's see. So this would come in as a magnitude 2.58, and then we got another little one there. That's a little. Um, a magnitude 1.94, and you can see here. Yeah, we got um, gases, heated water coming up. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go to the uh, seismic signature. 
Yeah, it's not. Uh, is it gonna let me pull it? Yeah, no. Okay. A lot of these earthquakes are real shallow. Um, Six point three kilometers would be about um, three miles. Three point nine miles. We got some that are. Um, yeah, it says zero zero. Yeah, those would be right at sea level. I'm looking for that largest one, the magnitude 3.7. And I wanted to get the time for that one. Let's see, we got a 3.4 right there. Um, I wonder if they revised it or not. Let's see. There it is. It was right after the magnitude um, 5.3. Um, that one was 6.2 miles in depth at 2137 Universal. Yeah, so interesting what they did initially for the 5.3. They added all these earthquakes in. Um, but this um, 3.7 was buried within um, that seismic signature. There it is right there. Yeah, look at the heat that came up. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of energy in the water. In the past, I don't think I've ever seen them add in earthquakes once they uh, figure out the size. They normally do not add in these um, other earthquakes, like this one, 2152. They're saying that's a magnitude 2.6. Yeah, that's interesting how... Um, yeah, even though it's a long sequence earthquake, yeah, they've added in, broke them down into um, smaller quakes, yeah. Now, this one here they're saying is a 2.6, but I come up with a 2.75. And they've actually added in an extra earthquake in there. Let me pull it over so you can see it. It would be this one right here. Yeah, interesting. Are they trying to be a little more honest in their earthquakes? Yeah, interesting. Here on the felt reports, let me zoom in here first before I show the extent. Yeah, North Pole. I, you know, I did a report about um, earthquakes up in this area not too long ago, a couple days ago. Intensity level 8. Intensity level 7. Uh, and that's at the Air Force Base. Um, another 12 from the Air Force Base. Boy, the Air Force Base covers a large area, don't it? Um, two more. One more there. Okay, let's bring this out. And, oh, way down here. Okay, let's see. We got in yellow, intensity level 6. Anchorage, uh... Yeah, the uh, Cook Inlet, it was reported in Homer, intensity level 3. On EMSC, we got some reports from the Air Force Base, or at least one. It says, ground floor building, no damage seen yet. Um, let's see. Now, this one says, Salcha, but building there at the Air Force Base. Loud rumble, shook and swayed our building. Eelson. Okay, North Pole, Alaska. Loud noise, roar, then shaking and swaying. Ran outside. They saw the trees swaying. I did look on Twitter to see if there was any videos, but I couldn't find anything about that. There, not to say that there isn't, but I couldn't find them. Another one from North Pole. Hard jolt followed by a 10 to 15 seconds of shaking. Another one. House was creaking and the blinds and everything were swaying. Fairbanks, I saw it, no, just felt it. So they must not have seen any swaying or movement of things. Another one from Fairbanks, rolling shake. I work in Fairbanks, things started to shake, lasted a couple of minutes, wow. Another one from Fairbanks says it was really long. And then another, shook for a while, 20 to 30 seconds, question mark. Another one said, I live on a mountaintop 40 miles away, and it felt powerful. Another one from Dell Junction. I was lying in bed. Everything started shaking loudly. 
Dishes in the kitchen started shaking and rattling. It was pretty long, at least 10 seconds. And then another one, which was 299 kilometers southwest. So that would be about 186 miles, said there was gentle rolling movement. So let's see where the Air Force Base is at. Okay, oh, that's north. Okay, right up there. Okay. Have you guys, since the initial reports sent in to USGS or EMSC, um, have you found damage since then? I would like to know. What does the runway look like? Has there been any cracks that popped open? All right, they are updating. We got, what, 190 earthquakes now. Most recent, um, 1637 magnitude 1 1.2. That would be at 737 a.m. 0 0.4, a 1.9, um, a 2.4. Yeah, you guys are just rocking and a rolling. You're probably wondering, when will all these aftershocks stop? Yeah, let me go back to my Google Maps. I don't remember when the last report I made about the earthquakes along the Denali Fault Zone. Um, they are capable of having large earthquakes. Back in uh, 1912, there was a magnitude 7.2. Let me bring this in. Let's see, December uh, 1st of last year. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. Let me bring it in here. Okay, a 5.0. Yeah, December. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, 5.0. Yeah, December 1st. That might have been the report that I did. I didn't mark all the earthquakes, but yeah, I talked about it. And you can see the roads here. Yeah. So, what kind of damage did you have? Yeah. Put your reports down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. <music>